Hi, I'm Kantik Dev, and today we will go over two-way and k-way data merging. Say in a programming interview situation, you are given two sorted arrays of integers and asked to merge them. What would you do? I'm pretty sure my first instinct would be to just append them, which then I would realize that the new array would no longer be properly sorted. The correct approach to this problem is to use two-way merge. Two-way merge is quite simple. You take two sorted arrays, you compare the first element in each array, and then take the smaller one and put it into a separate union array. And you keep doing this until you have fully merged the two arrays. This will end up having a nice O-N time complexity, as you only do one comparison for each element. Imagine that instead of two arrays, you are given six arrays. Would the same comparison-based merging work? Let's try it. Again, we take the first element of the first array. Then we proceed to compare it to the first element of every other array. This will result in a suboptimal O and K time complexity, where K is the number of given arrays. What we are doing here is essentially a selection sort between the given arrays. However, we know that we can improve on selection sort by switching to heap or tournament sort. If we do so, the resulting method will be called a K-way merge. Merging K sorted arrays using an optimal approach like using a heap is called k-way merge. However, in this example, I will use tournament trees, as it will result in log k comparisons between arrays, as opposed to heaps to log k comparisons. To have a uniform tournament tree, the number of leaf nodes need to be a power of 2, so we will use a sentinel value of infinity to make up for the missing leaf nodes. Now, let the tournament begin. We will start by comparing the first elements of the first two array. The value to proceed to the next level will be the smallest of the two. We will continue the comparisons until we fill the entire tournament tree. The winner of the tournament will be the root node of the tree, hence the smallest value. We will set our first value aside and clean the tournament tree branches where the winning value came from. However, we will still have half of the tree intact. As a result, we only need to do log k comparisons in a tournament sort. To select the next winner, we will make comparisons to fill in the missing three branches. And we will continue doing this until we have all the values in all the arrays merged into a single sorted array. The resulting time complexity will be theta n log k, where k is the number of arrays to merge. Notice that instead of big O notation, I used big theta notation. This is because our time complexity is always n log k, instead of just the worst case scenario being so. Looking back, with the naive implementation we had O and k time complexity. With the tournament trees, we brought it down to theta n log k. Our tournament trees first time construction will take theta k time, and selecting the winner value at each round will only take theta log k time. Therefore, we end up with our theta n log k time complexity for the entire k-way merge operation. What about space complexities? We will need roughly 2k space to store the tournament tree in memory. We only need the first element of each array for the tournament sort to work. If those arrays are sorted in separate files, we can read from the files one element at a time. We will need zero auxiliary space to store the sorted data in memory, because we don't need to store the sorted data in memory at all. As you have just seen, we get the sorted elements from the tournament tree one by one. As we get them, we can write them to a file and free up memory space. However, it is good to keep a small number of them in memory and write them in batches, not to keep the disk always occupied. What you have just seen is one of the fundamentals of streaming data processing and distributed computing. For instance, distributed sorting. In my next algorithm video, I will solve an interview question asked by Google during a senior reliability engineering interview. In that question, you are given one terabyte of data and 1000 computer nodes with only one gigabyte of RAM each. And you are asked to sort this data as fast as possible while utilizing the given computer nodes as efficiently as possible. There are several ways to solve this problem and K-Way Merge using tournament trees is one of the optimal solutions. In that video, I will go over all the possible solutions. If you don't want to miss it when it's out, don't forget to sub. To visualize how you can utilize K-Way merging in distributed computing, imagine you have six computers loaded with six different batches of data. The data is sorted among themselves, and you need to merge them into a final sorted array. 
All you have to do is to request the first element of each array from each computer, then put those elements into a tournament tree. Once you extract the smallest element of the tree, which will be the root node, you can write it to a database and request the next value from the computer that supplied the winning value. Thus, you can merge the data into a stream of values using optimal time and space. If the data in each computer is unsorted, you can sort that data first utilizing all six computer CPU resources at the same time. Then select one of the computers as the master to handle the final merge operation. What are the caveats? As you have just seen, K-Way merge will only work if the arrays to be merged are already sorted. If not, you will first have to sort them. As we have just seen in the example, if the data is coming from different computers, you can sort the data first using a very efficient sorting algorithm, like QuickSort. Tips. Code for the full implementation of K-Way merge is on my GitHub, and the link to it is in the video description below. If you want to read further into merging algorithms, I have a small reading list in the video description. This video was a preparation for my upcoming algorithm video on distributed sorting. In that video, I will give you a gentle intro to distributed computing. I will also solve the algorithm interview question asked by Google, which I mentioned a moment ago. Finally, link to my algorithms playlist with tons more algorithm videos and interview questions is also in the video description. If you like to see more algorithm videos, give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see the upcoming interview question videos, don't forget to sub. And I will see you on the next one.